All right, what is going on everybody? Today we're gonna to be covering the weapon meta attachments that I run on the DMRs. And what a perfect time to be talking about this because after the patch that we just had the other day, and we covered that also in the previous YouTube video that I just made, all of the LMGs, SMGs, ARs are now kind of in line with each other after the SMGs and LMGs got more spread added to them, which is great. So. Going into the DMRs here in a moment, these are my stats. I've been playing the game since the beta, so I've got about 3,200 hours or so in the game. Uh, I was the first person to hit max level without boosting it, so hopefully my uh, opinions here are somewhat relevant based on the stats provided, but anyways, getting into the DMRs, right? So, I will tell you up front that most of my builds are for aggressive play. I don't like to sit back, so we'll kind of cover some alternate attachments or different ammo types you could use if you want to sit back and play more medium range, be a little more comfortable, you know, find yourself a little head glitch, or, you know, if you want to be that rat with the with the 4, 6x, laying down with a bite, you know what, it's fine. You want a Chris Kyle simulator? By all means. But anyways, getting into the DM7, which I still believe is probably slightly better than the SVK on versatility, but not damage range, okay? Ignore this build. Um, I'm pretty sure the last time I was using this, I was in that Milsim server. That's why I got the high power rounds for the, because it was hit scan, quote unquote. But anyways, so generally my build is the champ muzzle break, the blue laser and the close combat rounds. If I'm playing further out than that, I will switch to the standard rounds. And you can see that I've got the, the fusion, the 2.5 thermal. And I believe my third one was the mall hybrid. So that was the three 1.5. But, again, I think I was in a, a hardcore one-shot server, so that I was messing around with some dumb stuff. Anyways, if, again, you're more of the player that wants to sit back, then you've got the standard rounds is the go-to. I don't recommend the high power, just because not a lot of ammo, and it's a three-shot out to any range. That is the only benefit to it. This is a three shot out to, I believe, 75. Do not quote me on that. I haven't tested it in a long time. And then this is a three shot within 30. So that's why I run this because I'm playing aggressive. I just run up and I can get lucky with a one shot to the face, one shot to the body, and I two tap you, etc. yada, yada. Okay. As for the barrel attachments, again, if you're on console, I believe Warhawk is better. But, I, but with DMRs, I really don't see a whole lot of issue with recoil with any of them to begin with. Just because... There's, you know, semi-auto weapons, and your first shot multiplier on these are fairly low, even for mouse and keyboard. Now, when we talk to the Portal DMR, like the M39, there is some crazy visual on that, but we'll get into that when we get there. So this is what I run for it. If you're not a laser fan, you like playing passive, close, sitting on a head glitch, BCG grips better. If you like to 80 strafe, left, right, analog, the LWG is going to be better. Again, I don't know the actual numerical statistical difference between the two. I just know based on what I'm told that if you're more of a jiggle peeker, this is better. If you're more of a static player, this is better. Okay. Uh, I'm running this or the factory barrel. I don't really notice a difference between the two, if I'm being honest with you, for me. But if I'm going to go flank around and I use close combat rounds and I'm being aggressive and I want to like hit a flank, then I run the wrap so I can be quiet. Not necessarily off the radar because, again, it tells you now accurately that if you're within 40 meters, you're not off the radar. Okay, That was a misconception for a long time until they put that in. The SVK, I will switch to the wrap suppressor the majority of the time. And for whatever reason, I'm a DJ and put the 6X. Somebody asked me to do that. I don't usually run that. But anyways, short barrel, extended standard. And then the laser sight. Most of the time, I'm using the wrap suppressor over the short barrel. There is a bit of weird wonkiness with the spread. If I use the short barrel, I'm trying to rapid fire. It's just not accurate. So, like, you got to pace your shots with the SBK. What the SBK does significantly better than the DM7 is it'll two shot you with the standard rounds out to 100 meters. And I want to say the high power went to 130. It might be 140. So, Really, I don't see the benefit in running high power when you're only losing about 30, 40 meters max. You get much more ammo, but the negative to the standard extended is you only get one in reserve. So 
if you are constantly feeling like you're not having enough ammo you can run this you get three in reserve so you're getting 40 instead of 30 so the the math is kind of there you're just going to reload more often with this but you do get double that what you get in the high power it's just you're just not enough ammo in this thing for me personally again laser or these two grips i believe you can add high uh, explosives i'm almost positive that dm7 i'm gonna go back real quick has a master key to it as well no it does not okay ignore me i don't know why this is locked for me but okay the v car should only be used aggressively this is the build i'm even if you like to play back if the v car is something you want to tier one and you're just kind of using it until you get that and put it away forever then this is this is the build you should be running the only time i switch off of this is to put the wrap suppressor if i'm trying to hit a flank but outside of that uh, they fixed the short barrel on this so you can see the rate of fire is 520 if you trigger finger this or you have trigger stops on your controller or you want to be a dj and run a macro I'm shaking my head you can't see that sure you could do that i'm gonna call you out for it but you could full auto this thing really 520 rpm is you can full auto this thing I try to trigger fingers as much as I can, but eventually I'm human and I, my finger gets tired. Eventually. But I can get away with it for a little bit. In any case, again, if you're not a fan of laser and you're going to play aggressive, I would recommend using the LWG. It's just me. All the sights. 2.5 on this actually goes pretty hard, okay? I'm going to be honest here. There's been a lot of time, especially on Hourglass and Exposure, where it's hard to see people in some of these spots, especially when the sandstorm comes. Dude, just switch to the thermal site and you see everything clear as day. It is pretty nuts how good this scope is on a lot of the maps. And when you're playing aggressive with this, it's only 2.5, right? So you're not going to get glare on your, on your optic when someone looks at you. And it's not so far zoomed in that you don't feel like when you try to do your micro adjustments, it's like... You're going way off or way back, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, even for the average player, this this is a good zoom level. 2.5 is a good, comfortable spot for a lot of players to adjust their sight picture. So, I think it's pretty silly, and it does well. I've had some fairly interesting clips with the thermal. I've even been called out on the stream, like, why are you running the thermal in the view car? I'm like, dude, because it's trolling and it's fun. Okay. Uh, I would, this is, I believe the close combat drum is like the last thing you get with this thing so if you don't have it i still recommend if you don't have the time or the care to just go kill 320 or th sorry 360 human players you can go play ai and in, in solo and knock out all the attachments and then you can go out and get your tier one now the bsv still the best one out of all these guys you know they have their perks and whatnot like this is fun to play aggro with this is fun to sit back and two tap people but the bsv overall and I'm not, we're going to ignore the mastery level on this because I abused the shit out of it when it first came out. It has full auto. Okay. Still full auto. I'm probably doing this wrong here. I shouldn't have the subsonic in the background. I should probably do the subsonic high power. But for me, it's always high power, short barrel, and the laser. Now, again, for the average player or the more quote-unquote casual, okay, and, and don't don't ding me on this. I'm just kind of going with the majority of players here. I'm not, like, dogging anybody. You probably want to run the standard barrel. Because it's going to give you less chance for the weapon to bloom out. On full auto, it's a bit wonky. Uh, even on full auto, I still tap fire, right? I'm not just holding down the trigger, unless they're up close, right? But the, for most situations, for the engagements that I'm taking, I'm still doing, like, you know, two to three round bursts at most. But the standard barrel will give you a good kind of feel in between the long barrel and the short barrel because for some players the short barrel's rate of fire can be too fast for them and the long barrel can be too slow but if you'd like to sit more back the long barrel is going to be better because you get that bullet velocity increase and it's more accurate so take your pick right you got plenty of optics here um don't recommend the 6.6. Again, this was a troll build for the hardcore server, doing some testing stuff, whatever, right? I wouldn't recommend this personally, but hey, man, it's each their own. Uh, again, I usually run the 125 or I'll run the mall hybrid. I, that's what I mainly ran. And the reason that I did this for a long time when this first came out was because you not only did you get more versatility with the optic cho choice here, because you get a 3 and a 1.5 red dot. There is no fusion hollow, right? You don't see a fusion hollow here. So the mall hybrid gave you a 1.5 red dot so when i was playing more aggressive 
I could switch to the 1.5, and then when I was sitting back with the 3x, I could tap people away back when this thing was broken. For, for anybody who missed out on this, if you guys didn't know, the BSB was a two-shot out to 150 meters if you landed headshot body shot. Now it's only 75, so they did cut it in half, and they added some more bloom to this, or spread, right? So, it got slightly worse. It's still the best DMR out of all of them. And then again, for the laser, you can run LWG, BCG, or there is the bipod for it, you know. Bio <laughs> Go ahead and lay prone with this if you don't want recoil. Uh, okay, so, what I was talking about earlier with the M39... The M39 is probably the best out of all of them besides the BSV up close. If I'm thinking time to kill wise and damage per round. But damage per round, the M39 is doing 60, 96 within 40 meters, right? 60 body, 96 to the head. So this is how I run it. And the reason that I'm running it this way is because I, I never felt any difference with the champion muzzle break. Laser sight, again, I don't really sit and play static. It does have a bipod, and it gave him a 28-round extended mag. This thing did not need an extended mag, but hey, sure, I'll take it. And I, I do not go past 2.5 on this for mouse and keyboard on max field of view. And the and dude, the reason for that is is because the, the first shot multiplier on this is atrocious when I'm shooting anything past, like, 50, 60 meters. I really have to pace my shots. If you're on controller... You get 25% less recoil across the board, which means 25 less horizontal, vertical, and first shot multiplier. So you guys get 25% less vertical kick from the first shot coming out of this weapon. And from the controller player streams that I watch, like, you know, EK, Max, IQ, right? Um, I've seen them use it, and it's not fair. And again, it's going to be like, well, you're mouse and keyboard. You got better movement all day. I'm like, yeah, overall, mouse and keyboard... We'll still have the advantage in this game but this part about it is not fair just like having amuses through the smoke isn't fair and you have amuses through smoke it's really annoying please fix it so i digress in any case this thing is probably one of the most fun and aggressive weapons to use within 40 meters outside of that you have a better choice between the two portal dmrs which is the svd okay now the svd is a slightly worse version than the SVK in damage model, but what it lacks in the range has better mag reserves, right? So you get the same extended mag that the SVK gets, and you get three in reserve, not one. Again, same difference. I, never, I didn't notice any difference between the, the factory barrel and the champion, so I'm really just switching between this and the wrap suppressor. I don't go any further out than the 2.5 because of the first shot multiplier, and this first shot multiplier in the SVD is slightly more atrocious than the M39. Same thing with the, just not really a whole lot of options down here for the bottom attaches. But, this thing is a two shot out to 75 meters, and if someone has even gotten breathed on for damage within 75, you tap them in the head, it does 96 and they're gone. So, that's cool. Uh, very hard hitting, and right now, because of the meta change, and I'm going to do a different video on the top five weapons in the game, because I've seen a bunch of different videos and a bunch of different opinions, and I'm just sitting here thinking, I'm like... You know, I'm probably one of the few guys who have more than 3,000 hours in the game at this point. And I'm, I'm, everyone's got their opinion, and I've listened to their feedback, and I'm just sitting here thinking, like, some of these are just flat out wrong. Like, and I'm not dogging anybody. I'm not going to throw out names, and I don't care. It's cool. Like, do by all means. You make your content and have fun with it. But I want to give you guys the most accurate information. So I'll do that once I'm finished doing the snipers and the shotguns here there's not much to talk about in here but i'm gonna make a video for the snipers not much to talk about there either in the shotguns and we'll cover that here momentarily in a different video and then i'll get into what i believe are the top five but anyways guys that's really it for the dmrs if you guys have any questions or comments or you disagree and you say no i like this better for x reason by all means you're more than welcome to have a conversation in the comment section below and i'll get to you as soon as i can but uh, until the next video guys that's all there is for the dmrs i will say after this patch dmrs are shining a little more than the rest of the main weapon choices and main weapon choices i'm talking about these three categories they're all nerfed they got more spread now so they're all within line with each other i think lmgs need a slight nerf again smgs i think are in a good spot ars in a good spot and then yeah cool that's all i got for you guys appreciate your time see ya <laughs>